Hey there, this is Tyler from WTFX. Today we're looking at a lesser known motion graphics plugin. Let's dive in. CC Griddler. Now you may be thinking to yourself, holy questionable component, Catman. This sounds like a strange plugin. Well, it certainly is, Citizen. And just like some of the other plugins we've looked at, we don't know going into this exactly how it could be used in the real world, but it may come in handy someday. But griddle me this, what does it even do and how does it work? Well, I'm happy to say that it's pretty straightforward. Once applied, there are only five controls, horizontal scale, vertical scale, tile size, rotation, and cut tiles. Horizontal and vertical scales are just that. The plugin itself divides the image into segments, and the scales control either the height or the width of those segments. To best see this, we're going to take these numbers below their default of 100. Horizontal scale controls the width of the horizontal pieces, while the vertical scale controls the height of each of the segments. You'll notice that, as stated, it divides the image into individual segments, meaning that if you change one of the scales more than the other, the segments will appear to either squash or stretch. However, if we change the scale size above the default of 100, you will see that it creates a zigzagging pattern. Next is tile size. This too does exactly what it sounds like as it changes the size of each segment or tile. Its default is at 10, but the smaller you make this number, the smaller the tiles become, and the larger the number, the bigger the tiles become until eventually you bring back the whole image. Rotation rotates the individual tiles to the degree of your choosing, and cut tiles then removes or adds a separation border around each tile. Let's go back really quickly to the scale settings. If you remember, when we turned the numbers large enough, it created a zigzagging pattern. Well, let's say you don't want zigzags and you want squares. That's fine. Simply uncheck the cut tiles box, make the numbers larger, and voila, you've got squares. Whether you like the fun transitions this could create or the potential for some really interesting motion graphics, I think there's one thing we all can agree on. We really should have tried harder on putting in more Batman jokes. Thanks for watching. I am so sorry for what you just watched. See that big red subscribe button? Definitely don't click that and don't hit the bell icon either because doing either of those will let you know when we upload new content. And you see those two clips of the other videos that we made? You don't want to check those out either. Just steer clear of them. I mean, you, you just watch one of our videos. That's why. In fact, what you may even want to do is, is just shut down your computer. If you live near a canal or a river, maybe even take the computer and just throw it in one of them.